Let's go. This is your lab boy today. Today is Thursday, the 23rd day of November 2023. And for your lab boy today, we are enjoining you to be gracious in your speech. That's the topic for your lab boy today. Be gracious in your speech. All through this week, we've been reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, and even the remaining days of the week, we will still be reading from the same book. But for today, we are going to read the 10th chapter of the book of Ecclesiastes. Very long reading as like the others before, so let's go very quickly now. Dead flies make the perfumer's ointment give off an evil odor, so a little folly outweighs wisdom and honor. A wise man's heart is inclined towards him, towards the right, but a fool's heart towards the left. Even when the fool walks on the road, he lacks sense, and he says to everyone that he is a fool. If the anger of the ruler rises against you, do not leave your place, for difference will make amends for great offenses. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, as it were an error proceeding from the ruler. Folly is set up in many high places, and the rich sit in a low place. I have seen slaves on horses, and princes walking on foot like slaves. He who digs a pit will fall into it, and a serpent will bite him who breaks through a wall. He who quarries stones is hurt by them, and he who splits logs is endangered by them. If the iron is blunt, and one does not wet the edge, he must put forth more strength, and, but wisdom helps one to succeed. If the serpent bites before it is charmed, there is no advantage in a charmer. The words of a wise man's mouth win him favor, but the lips of a fool consume him. The beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness. And the end of his talk is wicked madness. A fool multiplies words, though no man knows what is to be, and who can tell him what will be after him. The toil of a fool wearies him, so that he does not know the way to the city. Woe to you, O land, when your king is a child, and your princes feast in the morning. Happy are you, O land, when your king is the son of free men, and your princes feast at the proper time, for strength and not for drunkenness. Through sloth the roof sinks in, and through indolence the house leaks. Bread is made for laughter, and wine gladdens life, and money answers everything. Even in your thoughts, do not curse the king, nor in your bedchamber curse the rich, for a bird of the air will carry your voice, or some winged creature tell the matter. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This message is for me and many other people. You have to be gracious in your speech. I have to be gracious in my speech. 
Oh, you are the one who knows how to tell it all. Sometimes it gets you into trouble. Oh, you are that one. In fact, the way the cognomen of your origins in your family compound, that is the one who can say it so hard for the person that is concerned to hear, and even if the person hears, what is he going to do about it? In Yoruba, they say, Oh, my kaka kaka koloro, bo, toloro, babo, kini baba oloro, she. Sometimes when the Baba Oloro is somebody in power and in authority, it can get you into trouble. And the words that you say, let them just be gracious. Nobody is saying you should not say the truth, but say the truth in love, such that whoever you are trying to get the truth across to understands that it is because you want him to make amends so that he can do better and so that everybody can be happier together. Not to condemn, not to bring down, not to, 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 to get off the way. Even in politics, yes, in politicking, say the truth. Yes, this person did this thing, but don't tell lies. Don't exaggerate. If all he stole was just one million naira, don't say he stole 10 million naira. Just come with the evidences, say what happened, let your speech be gracious, but let it be truth in love, and the Lord will be with you even as you do that in Jesus' name. Now, for you to have the kind of wisdom that will make your speech always gracious, you have to be in Christ because it is the Holy Spirit that gives you that kind of leading and inspiration for you to season your words with salt. And so I'm inviting you right now, you want to give your life to Christ so that you can also have wisdom that will control your tongue, that will make you say those things that the Lord will have you say according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Then come give your life to Jesus and how you go about it. Just say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I want to live a life that is gracious in every ramification, including my speech. And I've been told that I have to give my life to you. So I come to you right now, Lord Jesus. I say, have mercy upon me because I've been a sinner all my life. And as you forgive me of my sins, I yield my life completely to you now. And I say, accept me as one of yours. And as I accept you as Lord and Savior. Today, I pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. If you just said that prayer, welcome to the fold of Christ. You need to find the Bible believing church so you can grow in the faith and be more gracious in your speech or in your character every day of your life. So, please join us, if it's possible for you, if you are in Oshobu, in the Chapel Hall of the Olive Branches, Middle and High Schools, Oyikon and Boke, Omigodun Drive, every Tuesday, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and every Sunday, 9 o'clock in the morning, where we, the Anglican Church, Oroki Estate Extension, have our worship center for now. But look at the screen, you can see some bank account details. Join us. Be gracious even in your spending. Drop something in our account and we'll be able to build that place and God will impute it as part of your righteousness and blessings will follow for you in Jesus' name. And as you go out today, now say this prayer. Say, Father, let my speech and action bring people to the knowledge of Jesus Christ and your loving power, I pray, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So go out today. Be gracious in your speech. And I'm telling myself, I will be gracious in my speech. God bless you.